Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood, where last time, uh, Yugiri and I tr attempted to assassinate Xenos, but it ended up being a one-on-one -on -one rematch between me and the big guy himself. And while the fight lasted quite a while with my with me keep holding my own, he eventually got tired of my shit, but decided that I am worth he, I am worth his time, and I think he wants to fight me again. But in the meantime, the villager has saved Yugiri, so that way she is uh, alive and well as well. And now we have the fight back in the people of Doma. So let's continue on. Now that we are back in town. How are you feeling? After fighting that demon, I can only imagine. I suppose I ought to apologize to you for, you know. Anyway, uh, thank you for not giving up on us. The Shinobi, too. Yes, yes. I am amazing. And I'm feeling per- I'm actually feeling pumped after that fight. Er, it was risky. But I was able to hold my own. Like I'm chilling How are you back feeling, there. my lady? Much the better for my comrades' ministrations and your most generous hospitality. You need not worry. Good. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, anything at all, just ask. <laughs> Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. <laughs> Go and say your piece for goodness sake. <laughs> I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. Setsu, Mistress Alize, I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes and left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. You must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. And recklessness is what I do. In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. <laughs> that it does. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. It's what I do. <laughs> Twelve be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new primal slayer. Yeah, I'm good. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. You probably would have. We would have swatted you away, and my fight would have continued. What? <laughs> You'll forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signaled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. 
given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time, with whom I was privileged to share a room. <laughs> You're up. If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire. It would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Fortunately, according to Totaru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return, for there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. He desired proof of his subjects' conviction, and they have provided it, through no lesser deed than openly opposing Xenos himself. Very true. I caught that. It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. Or he'll let me live so I can grow stronger and we can fight him again. Because that's my relationship with Zeno at this point. Zeno's. Yeah. Because he will continue to let me live until I become the thrilling fight he wants. And by that point, I'll have me strong enough to kill him. All right, talk to my comrades. I'll be traveling to uh, to the Azim Steppe, Ravenous. I found Lord Hien once before, and I'm confident I could do so again. Moreover, it was it was me whom he sent to question Doma's resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver him, deliver to him our people's reply. Our countrymen's deeds speak for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked on the on his face. It would be a great comfort to see him again, and no small comfort if you were to join us in the search, I would add. I wonder what kind of man Hien is. From what I've heard, he's about the same age as me. Then again, so is uh, Fornola. Like her, he was born and raised in the Imperial Province. This is all he is he's ever known, but unlike her, he chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know know so I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me understand a lot of other things. All right. So up here. In the meantime, how shall I occupy myself? The beloved king returned, uh, returning to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. Not a story you'd ever hear in, in uh, uh, Charlian or, or Ulda, is it? Not in those words, perhaps, but no land's people is so cynical to be wholly immune to inspiration. Singular individuals have the power to move the hearts and minds no matter where they go. Uh -huh. Doubtless you speak from personal experience. Uh, as much as this Lord Hian intrigues us, Ravenous, there, is a vital, there are vital tasks to be attended to here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Doma Castle, for one. There is also the matter of co co coordinating our efforts with the Confederacy and our comrades in Kugane. Dealing with this, uh, uh, dealing with this troublesome Aetherite, I could go on, but you'd understand. You understand. I don't know what I'm saying. 
Aye, so it, uh, so aye, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. Shall we depart for the Azim step? Uh, we shall depart for the Azim step at once. You, uh, you will be joining us, Ravenous. Sure will. For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Doman Liberation Front in your absence. We shall refrain from conducting any large-scale operations in your absence, but instead devote our energies to bolstering our ranks and training our new recruits. Uh, when you return, we will be ready for war. If anything happens, if you need us to come back sooner, you better contact us. Noble sacrifices are our last resort, remember? Follow me, my friends. We have moms to travel before we reach Reunion. Wait, don't leave yet. Here, take these for the road. It's simple fare, but it's the least we can do for you, after what you did for us. It may be stupid and naive for me to say this, but I will. When you come back, we'll finish what we started. We'll beat the Imperials and win our freedom. So, don't keep us waiting too long. Alright, now I can fly. Ooh. Meanwhile? Meanwhile, the keep of Doma Castle. I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Oh, he knows about that. Prepare the airship. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. Or he knows about Omega. Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. Because of your petty hatreds, they render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope, to make an example of Doma, such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Do your duty now, or die with the rest of them. Are you all right, my lady? That was uncalled for. That's a smart move. Oh! They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want him dead. I want his friends dead. I want the heads of everyone he knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. You mean... You mean I can finally go after him? <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, he won't escape this time. Not this time, oh no. Really? Might have to kill your good, Yasuyu. 
You don't see you. Meanwhile, in the fringes of Garavania, well, wow, lots of stuff going on right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. Aye. This is the place. When his shade was banished, you swore to leave this life behind. And yet here you are. <laughs> there. Yet, if this be the work of the ice, what choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> or so the boy would say, damn you, Alphano. <laughs> Yeah, got an ally. So is he going up to see the eyes were caused by Shinryu? So is that who he found? Maybe. Or need to find Omega. Alright, enter to it complete. We have side quests. And I can fly. Alright, so before we continue on, let's do the side quests real, real quick. They should be real quick, unless they're side stories, because we can fly again. Alright, where are you? There you are. Uh, should you choose to undertake this quest, you receive no guidance. Oh, it's one of those. Mystery time. A ravaged corpse lies in front of you. You notice this lifeless left hand contains what appears to be a journal. The book's jacket has been stained with blood and taken on a crimson hue. Flipping through his pages, you find what seems to be the owner's final entry. Dearest Kikyo, I often wonder if you have come to resent me for leaving you behind. Every moment spent uh, without you by my side causes my heart to grow weird grow weaker and weaker. There has been many a time when I almost gave up, abandoned hope. But I knew I could not until the day I fulfilled my promise to you. The fact uh, fact I know I now know this day shall never come pains me more than I could ever than I could ever express using mere words. Luck has carried me back home, but it does not seem to carry me any further. I would not protest if you were to think me a coward. I wanted nothing more than to gaze into the beautiful into those beautiful eyes and tell you just how sorry I am. Tell me, do you still await my return where we swore we'd be re reunited someday? You spy a small sketch tucked stuck between the journal's final page and its cover. It seems to be the location where the two lovers promised to be re reunited. Map icons will not be displayed. Use the map, the sketch to find it. Alright, what does it look like? Alright, so we have a river... Alright, that looks like a lake. Or a pond. Wait, could that be... Is that where I think it is? Possibly. I think I know a place like that. We're going to gain some altitude. Because... It almost looks like that... Let's take a look. Perhaps. But I don't see any waterfalls over here. So perhaps not. Where are any other bodies of water around? There's... Oh! Here it's flight. What's this? Bubble, bubble, bubble. No. Interesting. But it's not the the body of what I'm looking for. Because if I look at it. We have a waterfall, or what looks like a waterfall, on the uh, the right side. 
so, if I look to, for more uh, bodies of water, I don't really see any besides the two. Huh. Oh, I guess it's just peering off. Oh, there is a person. Oh, this looks like it. Hi. There's something I can help you with. I'm gonna show her the, the sketch. But where do you find this? On a corpse. It was in the, it was in the uh, it was in the back of a dead man's journal. I am sad to say I'm not the woman you were searching for. However, I do know where she is. Follow me. I'll take you to meet her. Is she dead too? Yes. My sister rests peacefully beneath this tree nowadays. We both lost our parents during the Imperial Invasion. Uh, as I was still but an infant, it fell to my sister's young shoulders to raise me. And that was far from being her only responsibility. She had to work day and night in order to keep me fed while paying the imp Empire's extraordinary taxes. It was five years ago to the day that she fell ill from, st from the strain. and She continued to wait for her beloved right up until, the, until she drew her last breath. I heard from my sister that that he left uh, Namai as he was a key member of the rebellion. He knew the empire would have empire would have his head and were he to remain here. Even knowing this, I was unable to find it in my heart to forgive him. It was only out of respect to my sister's faith uh, in her dearest uh, in her dear. It was only out of respect to my my sister's faith in her dearest. I decided to visit. From, uh, decided to visit from time to time the area where she said they would meet again. Never did I expect to, things to conclude in this manner. I wish to compensate you for the, taking the trouble to deliver this news to me. Please come see me in the village. Okay. Whoosh. Alright. And come in for a landing. There we go. I have talked with the villagers, and it has been agreed that my si my sister's beloved will be buried next to her. At least they shall be reunited in death. Now that I know how he truly felt, I think I too have it in me to forgive him. I could not have done so were it not for your help. My sincerest thanks to you, kind stranger. Okay. I did it. Yeah. Okay, we have... Alright, your turn. Tell me, have you met met the Nam Namazu that live in uh, Yazuka Manor? The manor can be found in the southwest of Namai. It was originally a home to a wealthy family. However, they were murdered when the Empire attacked. These days, a group of Namazu live there. They visit Namai every now and then, coming to trade fish with us. They had shown an interest in some of some of the trees around here, so I thought uh, to give them a few seedlings in return. Although the road to the manor is, fraught, is long and fraught with danger. Would you mind if I asked you to deliver them in my place? If you're willing to help, please collect the seedlings and vi and the vial of wood vinegar from in front of uh, Fukudo's house. The wood vinegar will help help them repel insects. Please deliver everything to a Namazu named uh, Gyotai. Okay. And those would be right here. And there is a uh, Fukudai, a uh, Fukudo. All right, seedlings. And then the wood vinegar. Alright, you need to think, me to do anything while I'm out? 
Oh, it's a side story. I do not recall having seen you before. Would you happen to be a traveler? If so, may I have some, some, may I request some of your time? You have heard of the Lupin. They are a race that appears to be half man, half wolf, and they are known for their skills in combat. They have long ser served. They have long served the King of Doma. However, when Doma fell into the Empire, many of them were conscribed into the Imperial Army. Those who were refused were forced to live out their lives as bandits. There is also one family of Lupin that have called Namaya home for many a generation. They have acted as a villager's protectors on countless occasions. We, we could not have survived without their aid. Their current oldest son has been the family's backbone up, up until he too was forced to enlist. Only the mother, mother and, young, and her younger son remain now. The whole village is expected their youngest to pick up where his brother left off. Sadly, he turned out to be one of the weakest Lupin I have ever seen. He has been unable to help with the village in any way, much less protect it. The ferocious appetite his kind possessed was looked upon kindly back when they kept the village safe, but people are not so understanding when the Lupin give, uh, give nothing back in return. Even so, considering he spends most of his time looking after his sickly mother, I do not believe he is deserving of the village, villager's ire. Assuming you're not just passing through, would you be willing to help the, this yo the young Lupin? Okay. My thanks. The boy would, ha the boy, ha the boy I would have you help is named uh, Kurubana. He lives up on the hill to the west. Okay. I have to stay hydrated through this. But we'll do this until we have to go to the to manor for some reason. Or if this just ends, then we'll go over there. Alright. Where is he? Oh, I just noticed the name of this quest. Courage the Cowardly Lupin. That's great. Do you have business with me? Here to help you out. Uh, the old man puts you up to this. He certainly enjoys meddling in the affairs of others. It's as he says, I'm not much of a fighter. My bite is as soft as, uh, soft as a moogles. Of course, I would love to protect the village like my brother. Uh, but there's just... there, But there is a reason why he was constri constrived and not I. The only thing I'm good at is, is gathering herbs for my mother. I spent the rest of the rest of my time trying not to get in the way of the other villagers. At any rate, if you have no further business with me, I must head off to grind some herbs to, to make mother's medicine. Uh, Kurbana can use a uh, boost of confidence. Try to rally his spirits. Alright, rally. Ha ha! Oh yeah, that's right. I was thinking cheer. I have no idea why you are so interested in me, in me, but fine. I shall do battle with one of the nearby beasts, if that will satisfy you. That is not to say I, I that is not to say I will prove uh, Fukudo wrong. I'm merely doing this to show you what uh, show you that I should not be not have expect that you should not have expected aught of me. Okay. Now we'll go over here. We'll finish this part of the quest and we'll uh, then we'll end the episode and continue the next part next time. Alright, Featherfoot, go ahead and need you for this. Or rather, I want you for this. Alright, in the right stance, and there we go. Alright, and let's finish you off. Good, good, good.
and charge up. I got gotcha. you. Thank you for intervening. I do hope you have seen, seen enough now to accept that Fukudo is right. I am not and never will be a warrior. Uh, Hakuro is my brother in name only. Now please, leave me be. Tell Fu uh, Fukudo that you, ha that you helped me and I once again proved to be help hopeless. Alright. Up and over. Okay, no, that's a person, that's a player there. I was like, who the hell's up here? Okay, that house there. Alright. I caught a glimpse of Kurobana heading off somewhere with a spear, a spear a while ago. Tell me, how did he fare? He got whooped. Hopeless as ever, you say. Hokuro is such a fine warrior, I cannot believe Kurobana does not possess the same potential. There must be some way we can help him, surely. Uh, let's see. Have him try something besides fighting. I had not thought of that before, but it is quite an idea. It seems my mind has grown slow in my old age. Not all Lupin are born fighters. Let us find Kurobana and see if there is not something else he is skilled at. I apologize for stopping you on your journey, but if you have time to help, please let me know. Okay, so we don't have time for this episode, because we're out of time. We'll continue this in the next. So, if you enjoyed this, give a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Till next time. Later.